Hey guys, Trust Beard. Um, figured I'd do a short little video on, um, I guess, how I prepare things uh, for cutting, and um, I guess you're using spiral spiral blades. Um, Brett James actually asked me to do a video, you know, on how I use spirals, so I figured I'd uh, give it a shot. Um, I primarily use spirals just about for everything. Um, I learnt on flats I can you know I can still use flats I think but um you know, I, I use spirals for just about everything and uh, I mean there are times where I use a flat you know on a straight line a long straight line uh, you know sometimes around the border you know depending on how the pattern is designed but um I figured I'd do this video you know I'm no videographer or anything like that uh, I hate being on video, so like I, I mean, I may look at this thing and say I'll never do this again. But uh, you know, basically, the way I start out, you know, um, mostly I use uh, my favorite size board is 18 by 24, and uh, I use that primarily for just about everything. Um, it makes a good, you know, picture on the wall. Uh, plus, uh, you know, using flats on something this size, it's, you know, it wouldn't be fun spinning this thing around. So, um, you normally use 8th inch, 18 by 24. I'll sand the, you know, the facing of each one of the boards with the orbital sander. You know, I usually use a 220 grit, on the, you know, sandpaper for it. Um, take a tack cloth, clean that off. Um, then I put down, uh, I use Duck Brands uh, contact paper. Um, I've used others in the past, but they seem to leave uh, a residue on, on, on it, on the board after I peel it up and then I gotta use mineral spirits. But so far this Duck Brands seems to not leave that residue, and, uh, which is a good thing. Um, <clears throat> cut the, you know, I'll cut the um, contact paper out, place it on the board. Um, I use the rapid resizer for for my patterns. Um, I print them out. They come in eight and a half by eleven sheets. I can make them any size that I want. Um, you know, I just take a. Um, they come with a dotted line on them, so I just take a straight edge and an exacto knife, and I, I cut them up, and then I tape them all together. I spray them with 3M glue on the back of the pattern, and place them on top of the. Uh, on top of the um, contact paper that I just laid down on the board. Um, I also use brad nails. Um, I use 3 8 brad nails to actually secure the, the wood together. Um, I have, I circle every one of my brad nail locations so I know where they're at. Uh, that would be my last cuts. And it seems to hold it better. I used to use used to use uh, uh, painter's tape around the edges but uh, that just the middle kind of seemed flimsy so um, I talked to Tom Taylor you know he uh, suggested me using 3 8 uh, brads I have a, a brad nailer I didn't think that small would work with my brad nailer but but I tried it out, bought some, and, and it worked out great. So, but um, you know, basically that's how I prepare my board, um, and uh, I use uh, my scrollers drill uh, from Seiko uh, to drill all my pilot holes. You know, I have a Cyclonic um, dust collector from Seiko as well, and my Seiko saw. I love the depth. Uh, thing is awesome, but um, you know I'm <clears throat> I'm a bottom feeder. Um, you know I used to stand when I did this, uh, which um, I really can't do anymore. I had an injury in the military with my right knee, and it gets squatting up and down. Uh, you know, and bottom feeding it, it just wasn't working for me. So I sit. I have a chair that rolls. <laughs> And uh, basically, you know, sit the top of the board for the Seiko is uh, that chest level, 
and I can actually scoot in, scoot out, and see where the bottom, you know, the holes are that I've, that I've just drilled. So, but um, <clears throat> you know, like I said, I promised this. Uh, Brett James wanted me to do this video, um, which uh, you know I figured I'd give it a shot, see how it goes. <laughs> um, basically, this. Uh, you know where I've gotten today is you know watching a lot of people um, you know to name a few I, you know I mean Botus has helped me with patterns and you know um, also Charles Deering he's has helped me you know watching him and talking to him I talked to all these guys and Jim Bloom you know these guys are all great and uh, Terrence Thomas um, and Michael Williams, uh, Charles Hand, you know, I talked to all these guys. Tom Taylor has has helped me a lot as well too. And uh, watching, you know, and seeing his cuts are just uh, phenomenal to me. Uh, they're near perfect, in my opinion. So, but uh, <clears throat> you know, like I said, I just wanted to do this short video. Um, I'm doing my tiger that I actually. Uh, I did uh, last week, I think it was. I've already started cutting, and uh, I already videoed that portion of it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to uh, either splice it together, or there might be two videos. So you know, any comments you guys have, you know, let me know. Um, I'm always up to learning. I'm always learning. So, uh, you know, I'm just, uh, I guess, showing you the way I do things. Whether it's right or wrong, I don't know. Um, it's what I feel comfortable with. Um, if you guys have a suggestion on trying this, trying that, you know, I'll, I'll try it. And, you know, a lot of, sometimes it works, works out for me. Sometimes, you know, I go back to, you know, I like it this way or whatever. But, uh, you know... <clears throat> I'm going to be cutting this tiger out. I'm going to be using uh, number one Pegasus spirals. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I kind of, the way I run my saw is normally almost full speed. And uh, it uh, kind of helps uh, remove that dust pretty quick with that speed, uh, which kind of helps, you know, the blade move, move along pretty good. Um, like I said, guys, if you have any questions, comments, just uh, post them, and um, you know I'll, I'll do my best to answer them, or you know give me any suggestions on how you guys do things. All right, guys, have a good weekend.